What's up, bros and hoes, or whatever floats your goat? It's your boy, Relentless, and today was another edition of State of the Game. Now, during the State of the Game, I listened to it a couple times on SoundCloud through their podcast, and also watched it a couple times. Um, and keep in mind that this will change um, in the process of the PTS, but these are some uh, crucial and vital points that um, have already been addressed, and that'll be available in week two of PTS. Um, currently, you know, things are kind of screwed up. Um, after Patch Dose landed, Massive uh, already knew that there was going to be some issues and bugs, as it was stated, and already started preparing for um, the fixes, uh, but aren't going to be able to implement them till week two. Um, but at least they're being uh, adjusted uh, accordingly. But uh, let's jump into the vital points and parts of... Uh... So basically, um, as we all know, the Valkyrie, the Hungry Hog, um, and the Seeker gear set, uh, along with the Showstopper and MDR, are getting some changes. Um, for those out there that uh, like the idea of the MDR... Um, don't worry, uh, it's getting a 65% buff. So that's a good thing. The Showstopper is also getting a, uh, a buff, because it's a little underwhelming for what it's uh, intended. Um, also, the Valkyrie, or the Hilder, and the Air, um, that's going to see uh, some changes. Um, people are more or less kind of abusing it. And um, it's now 100% uh, proccing, and you're getting the same buff on the primary um, as to where it's intended for it to um, only be on the secondary. Um, so basically, the just of it is, um, the way it's designed is pretty much the SMG9 like I'm using now in this video. But um, you use your primary to build up a buff or a proc of crit damage for your secondary, and then you actually have to switch in order to unload that proc. Uh, currently, the way it is in the PTS, it's staying basically on the primary, um, and it's more or less being multiplicative and getting 100%. Well, now that will change to 30%. So that is a good thing. Uh, moving on as far as the Hungry Hog issue, um, which is it's mainly designed, and they uh, Yannick and Hamish actually agree with this and uh, mentioned it in the State of the Game. So if you haven't watched it yet, please go check it out. Uh, look up State of the Game Massive on uh, Ubisoft on Twitch, or you can look up their uh, podcast on SoundCloud if you're, you know... Uh, during your hustle and bustle of your day of work or on your way home. So that way you can listen to the state of the game and not without having to watch it. Uh, and you don't have to wait till you get home or vice versa. Or, you know, you can have some headphones with your smartphone or, you know, do whatever. Um, but the Hungry Hog, it was. Um, times two extra uh, damage as long as you, you know, holding you on the trigger, which was a uh, cumulative uh, plus 200%. Um, but it's, it was supposed to be 0.2 instead of times 2. So that 200% is now 10% per stack with a max of 50%, which is 5 stacks. So 2% versus 0.2% um, is a, a lot different. I mean, that's, that's huge. Um, but rest assured, um, it's more, like I said, it's more or less designed uh, to be utilized as a PvP set versus you know a pvp but i mean there are ways to implement it in pvp um if you can you know got the timing down right and they, it's not intended more or less to be a spray and pray utility type thing um so at least that's getting adjusted and for those that are out there uh worry, wondering about the seeker gear set um after two shots the way it is now um, the third shot is automatic crit. The way uh, that it was thought up and, and was supposed to be was, you know, people, you know, more or less would think, you know, with on their own minds and their own accord as far as, okay, two body shots and then let's shoot them in the head because we know a headshot um, 
is going to do a little more damage uh, than just uh, another third body shot because you know the third one is going to be an automatic crit hit. So therefore, you know, go with headshot. Um, and let's think of the M44. If you use the M44 and you have pretty much uh, plus 200% headshot damage, um, you know, you pop off two body shots and then a headshot, um, and they're going to have to, you know, be careful and they're going to be watching out for this. So any guys that are gals are on the PTS right now, um, and during week two, if you're able to get a hold of the Seeker set with an M44 or more or less any marksman rifle that has that bonus headshot damage that's added to uh, your current headshot damage like the uh, uh, marksman rifles do, um, it needs going to be need testing and tweaking to see if it's going to be an issue. Especially if you shoot an NPC twice to the body and let's say during PvP situations, you know, you see NPC between you and another player. You pop the NPC with two body shots and then use the third to hit an agent. Will it be more or less a one shot? Thus bringing back the whole Provident thing. Um, and also the spamming of, you know, hip firing with an M44 or a marksman rifle when it comes to, you know, these, these body shots and whatnot. So those on the PTS, be looking out for that. Um, the two and three piece of Seeker is getting changed, as it states in the state of the game. Um, it's uncertain now of what the two piece will be, but the two piece uh, talent for Seeker gear set will change to a utility. Um... Probably something along the lines of, I'm assuming, now that they got the damage to all that's in there, uh, probably a two-piece damage to all bonus in the two-piece, and then the three, then what was the two-piece will now become the three-piece. So the three-piece seeker will now be the two body shots, and then on the third, this automatic crit will give you um, headshot damage bonus. So, in turn, that's more or less saying that two body shots, and then it has to be a more or less headshot on the third one. Um, this gear set's more or less designed kind of toward that. They're trying to... I see what they're kind of doing, but it's going to be interesting to see because that's... If you use, like, an M44 and you aim for the center of mass, more like the head, then, you know, as far as the recoil pattern, uh, you fire off and eventually you will hit the head because the buff doesn't... After two shots... Um, if the third shot does not land on a headshot, uh, you do not lose the buff. The buff still stays uh, until you actually land a headshot on uh, a target. So uh, for those M4, LVOAC, um, you know, if you're face tanking, which is it's not intended to be, but that's the way people actually uh, PvP now for some reason. They don't use, you know, more or less tactics or uh, cover to cover kind of uh, situations or issues just due to the way the game is currently um, if you but anyways if you start with the center mass say with the M4 or LVOA and you know the recoil pattern uh, it, it's pretty much going to go up north uh, on recoil so eventually you will land a headshot so basically um, it can work with all types of weapons uh, but mainly for the I see it being more of a marksman rifle uh, situation, um, but like I said, it also uh, can work really well with ARs because with the recoil pattern, eventually you're going to hit the head. I'll just aim for, say, mid chest to uh, like neck area, the center of mass, and you know, with the recoil pattern, you will be eventually hitting a headshot. So it's bam, bam, and then you get the uh, the bonus headshot damage. So that is uh, something to be looking out for during week two of PTS. Um, now they said that the MDR with the plus 65% uh, base damage buff to it, that it's not going to be, you know, people think 65%, well, that's, you know, going to be OP. Um, but if you think about it, the MDR does need some love. And this 65% will basically just bring it up to the level of an SVD, more or less. Um, and the SVD is not really a, you know, powerful marksman rifle to begin with. But at least it brings it to that, that kind of level. So it's, it's, it's able to be used uh, instead of just something cool that, you know, gets laid waste. And it's just kind of, uh, yeah. But so it'll be interesting to see. And I uh, can't wait for week two. Um, 
they apologize, as you know, more or less for the way week one is because there's other things that can be tested. I mean, so I know everybody wanted to test, you know, the Valkyrie, the Hilder, and the Air, which also will be two different colors. One will be gold, the other one will be silver. Um, so I like that kind of change. I like these changes. Uh, these are the vital points. There are other and a lot more points to go over, but I just wanted a quick uh, run to get this info out there for those that have been unable to watch the state of the game or, you know, due to work or time zone differences or whatever the case may be. Just want to get the info out there. These are like the major points and issues of uh, the current PTS and there's others. So uh, if you want to check out the full video, then uh, go to twitchtv.com and look up uh, state of the game. You can watch the full episode there for January 26th. Or you can go to SoundCloud and uh, just listen to the podcast if you're unable to visually watch it. Because if you're driving, then yeah, you don't want to get yourself in any unfortunate accidents on the road. So uh, safety first, guys. So um, if you're driving and still want to know what's going on inside the game, don't become a casualty. Listen to it on SoundCloud if you're able to. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also... Um, Due to the PTS and the lack of content as of right now, uh, I want to address my new viewers and my subs. Um, is there any other games out there that you'd like to see? Because as we know, um, they accidentally put the release date of 1.6 in the patch notes and then thereafter uh, soon turn, put it, taking it down. But it's going to be around February the 28th. So basically we have a month before... Uh, 1.6 will drop for all platforms. So what kind of content would you guys like to see between here and there? Um, all the build videos are done. Uh, yes, there's PvP and just, you know, random shenanigans in the dark zone. Um, you know, there's prepping for 1.6. But, I mean, basically we've been through so many uh, preparations for all these updates. Everybody pretty much knows what to do. Um, you know, stack up Phoenix credits, regular credits, uh, buy all and get all the named weapons and farm them as much as possible, the ones that you want to use. And as far as uh, the revamping of Reclaimer and other gear sets, um, such as the D3 FNC, um, you know, whatever builds that you're interested in trying out in 1.6, acquire in 1.5 as of now, farm for them, uh, basically save all. And uh, every gear piece that you have that has high base armor on them because the additional armor that you have now as far as on your chest piece, backpack, holster, and knee pads will all be changed to more or less reflect uh, on your health instead of armor. And also uh, on your holsters, you uh, will be able to get um, reload speed uh, on it as a, I believe, as an attribute um, also on your holster. So keep that in mind. Uh, that was another good point. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me in the uh, comment section below on what you guys would want to see. Because like I said, there's lack of content right now uh, on the division unless you are uh, participating in the PTS, which is I am not. But I try to stay up to date on all information coming out there for, uh, you know, watching all the streams, trying to get that information so that way I can in turn give it to you guys. But yeah, just leave me what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. Smash that thumbs up button. Um, if you like this kind of information, um, instead of hitting the thumbs down button, if you don't care for this kind of thing or whatever video is kind of put up, um, if you are going to, you know, you don't like the video, whatever, and you want to give it a thumbs down, at least, you know, give me the comment courtesy, if you please, uh, in the comment section below, why you dislike the video or what you would actually like to see, because, uh, I'm doing this for you guys and I want to put out content that you guys want to actually want to see. So, your feedback is crucial to every content creator that is on the YouTube sphere, out there in the Twitter net, or whatever the case may be. So, your ratings, whether it be a thumbs up, thumbs down, is very crucial. That tells us, you know, uh, in the basics of what, you know, you like or dislike. But also, commenting on what you like and dislike also helps out to uh, us to bring you better content and to better... Um, apply it to where you guys keep coming back and actually want to see what content we, we put out. So keep that in mind. All your favorite YouTubers out there, 
Um, be sure to give them a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment on what you like or dislike or what you what guys want to see, what other games you want to see, because that helps the whole community out because we're here to entertain and to put out information of what you guys, the subs, the viewers actually want to see. So keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was brief and short. But uh, I just want to get out, you know, the vital main points of the state of the game today. Uh, pre appreciate you guys so much for watching. And like I said, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, whatever the case may be. Let me guys, let, let me know what you think. And I appreciate you guys so much. So uh, this is your boy Relentless. And I got broads in Atlanta. She's a Dolene, the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the family.